Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Back at it again. I am interested to see where John goes with this one. I see. I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but let's get into it. It's that big old schnoz picking up. Your beard is unruly today. Mm. So I get like a well-seasoned wood on this. Very nicely oaked, and it's not like a... A sweet wood, it's sweet, but it's also like a, a well-aged wood. Like if you cut a cord like two years ago and you start burning it, that's what it smells like. What do you normally season your wood with? Bird poop. <laughs> I wonder what they do with the bird poop on the barrel wood that just sits outside. Do they wash it off or I don't know if I want to know. Don't, no, nope, we don't want to know. So I get like a butter pecan ice cream on this one. Oh, hey. Like that nice vanilla, buttery, pecan-y. Butter pecan ice cream. There's like a, a cinnamon in there too. Mm. Interesting. I get like a little Fago red pop or rock and rye. Fago, you got to represent Michigan. Yeah, but... I get like a cola note on there too. Which is something I love when I smell. I don't get it very often. I know, but it is kind of nice when you get like, I, I find myself liking that too when you find mm. like a cola or a cream soda or something in a bourbon. Cream soda you usually get on like a, a rum. But, yeah, but yeah. when you get it, it's nice. I kind of like that too. I have like a candied orange peel or maybe like a orange marmalade. Is that the one with orange peels in it? Yeah, it's like a jelly with a candied yeah. orange peel. Yep. It's like sweet, citrusy, and bitter and perfumey a little bit. And the longer it sat out, it turned to more caramel and candy cinnamon. Ugh, I like it a lot. I gave it a 4 out of 5. Ooh. You adding this up as we go? Yep. Sure am. So you the betcha. palette. That's warm. That's cinnamon candy. A nice candy vanilla. Is there like a... A vanilla now and later or something like that or is that tootsie roll vanilla there's a vanilla tootsie roll there's Kinda like a vanilla milk full the milk maids i get a little white pepper in there too not as strong as black pepper it's a little peppery but tamed i don't know if that's what white pepper is yep. i think it is white pepper is like the black stuff off pepper right mm -hmm. not on there i don't know it's, I don't know what it is. We use it in our kitchen at work, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a very, it's peppery, but very we mild. We use it in our Alfredo. So that rock and rye soda flavors definitely come through. A little bit of cola note on there too, but it's that rock and rye, that honey, orangey, I don't know what else goes in rock and rye, rye whiskey. I take a little of that rye. I don't need Fago. It's so good. Well, rock and rye in general is old cocked. Oh, yeah. All those flavors are on there, and I really like it, because I don't know if I've had that on anything before. Some rye chips, like from the Chex, not the Gardettos that you like. Those are too crunchy. I like their checks better. Yeah. They're the worst. I get like a a cherry bitterness. And the oakiness is is nice. It's dry and a little sweet. I'll give it an 8.75 out of 10. Okay. Super pleasant. I really like this. How about the finish? It's sweet, but that bittery char and that rye and rock and rye flavor stick around for a long time. I get a nice little Kentucky hog, which I don't get on much stuff anymore. Mm 
The finish fades to like sweeter vanilla in the aftertaste. And it really just doesn't go away. The mouthfeel on it leaves this this coating of that cola and rock and rye soda flavors just stick. You know like when you drink a pop and your spit is thick for a while? That's how this is. Take a sip and just see how long it goes because I'm actually really amazed by that finish. I'm going to give it full points on the finish. I'll give it a five. How's it taste? So good. Yeah, it is good. Did you take my full point? Yep. So it's got like a nice deep copper color. Maybe a little bit lighter than copper, but legs are so thick. And everywhere. Holy cow. They mm -hmm. run a little fast, but they do stay on the glass forever. And then keep going and keep forming more. It looks really thick. Mm -hmm. Oily. Not thick, because it does run. Thick wouldn't be running. I'm going to say 2.25 on the color. I think it's a little bit darker and it'd be, it'd be perfect for me. Okay, so do you have guesses? I had trouble. I said... Corner Creek 10 year? Nope. Sorry, I just almost But missed. <laughs> it is proofier than what that would be, so that wasn't my official guess. I said around 100 proof. I said high rye but sweet, so that's why I thought maybe Corner Creek, because that's the only thing I can think of that was high rye and sweet, because that has wheat in it too. But, what is it? If I tell you it's from... Nevada Agency Distilling Co. Would that give it away? Agency Distilling Co. Agency. H O. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I know what bottle it is. There's only one thing I know that's from Nevada, and that's sourced from MGP. Smokewagon. So. What's H and C stand for? I don't know. Nevada H and C, aged and bottled by Distilling Co. I don't know. Smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered, straight bourbon whiskey, Las Vegas. I'm sorry if you hear a cat drinking for like five minutes straight. It's getting really annoying. Not that will shoot her this away. To us. This is a very pleasant bottle. So thank you, Michael. You sent us this bottle, and we don't get this here. No. So it's kind of nice to be able to try it. Um, it's very interesting, and I have to say it's probably one of my favorite bottles. Yeah, it's it's nice. Not that I'm critiquing it. It really so reminds you... me of that um, old Four Roses bottle that we have back here. Oh, yeah. You see that? It's like a newer age of that. Yeah. I don't know if That's I can reach true. That. I don't know if you can reach it either. Ooh, ooh. Stretch, Jen. Don't jump to bourbon. Stretch, Jen. So this one's yeah. from like 1934. It looks similar to that. It's got all the roses and plants on it yeah i don't know that's when i first cool. saw it that's what it reminded me of this is 1936 we'll try that eventually this is supposed to be delicious it's that cork or easy the so the bottle well that's an aberration <laughs> yeah that's a all awesome. right bottle what do you give the points i really like the bottle it's very very unique I wish we got it here because when you see this on the shelf, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. They have a few different iterations. Well, and I will say too is I think that it's pretty badass that they went with a like amber colored glass. I don't think all of are all of them amber colored. I want to say they are. I didn't look at much of them, but I think that that's pretty cool because you don't see that very often. There's the one Brecker or Breaker or whatever one mm -hmm. that that has it but you don't see that dark glass very often so i'm gonna give the bottle 2.25 because it is awesome it reminds me of a cowboy what cowboys would wear or drink everything <laughs> they'd have that in their saddlebag yeah gotcha what does that bring me to that gives you an 89 if i'm not mistaken that might be the highest score for me this year probably so what, what um, so kind this, of information you got on this one? This is sourced from MGP, like you said. Um, so this actually won 2017 and 2020 um, the double gold from the San Francisco um, thing. 
Their bourbon in general <laughs> or this barrel strength? That, that particular one. This one's batch 32. It says date bottled on 12, 11, 20. So I thought it was kind of cool because they batch everything and they did 21 batches in 2020. So they came out with this. Is that going and, off their list or? No, this is what they stated. So hmm. they came out with this in 2017. And they came out with just a few batches and then released a crap ton of it last year. Well, they really blew up last year because yeah. I never heard of them. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden they just flew everything. in. Um, and now this is, so now in 2020, they did the 21. I think this is batch three or four already this year that they've pushed out. Or two, two or three, I don't remember. So they're pushing out some stuff and they're pushing out pretty quick. Um, the SRP is usually around $60 for this one. Remember, this is the uncut bourbon, so I would definitely um, pay that. I would pay that too. I I'd that's probably a stellar pay bourbon. 100 bucks for that. Um, and it is 60% corn, 36% rye and 4% malted barley. So I did get the high rye part. Yes. And it is 115.78 proof. Hmm. And it is not age stated. There's a lot of speculation around it. Some people say that it's a solid six year. Some people say it's eight. Some people swear that it's got to be up there with Elijah Craig and stuff. I don't know. I don't think it's that high. I think I don't know how hot six Nevada to eight. is. Yeah. I'd say six, maybe eight. It's dark. But it's, it's like not Texas. Bad. Texas gets dark fast right. too. So I don't know. I don't think it's definitely. There's a lot more anything. six to eight people than I see more so, but there are some people that swear that it's got to be at least 10 to 12. But. To each their own everybody thinks their own way they think what they know either way it is not age stated but yeah. this one is what 100 and i already said that 57 57.33 percent of alcohol by volume i'm having trouble talking so mm -hmm. what is that what proof is that 115.78 and you already said all that yep do you still have that aftertaste sticking around yep it's like you drank a cola Yep. It's thick. I'm impressed. Thick like my hips. I just think it's cool. I thought they have like a wax seal with the two guns in Nevada in the back. It's so cowboy. Yeah. Like. It says smoke wagon barrel strength bourbon. Not all barrels are created equal. Only the best, most flavorful barrels earn the right to show off their full potential. Enjoy this bourbon in its truest form, uncut and unfiltered, wild and untamed, and not for the faint of heart. Pretty cool. They do have a plethora of information on their website, and it does have batches 1 through 25 are on there, but they don't have any other batches on there yet. That's I because, don't think they've No, they're not it. going to. They only oh. did the ones that they didn't put stickers and, and, and stuff, stuff okay. on there. Gotcha. I think when they blew up, they started just, they started doing, it just doing it on the bottle. Gotcha. So that was kind of cool. So you can go on there and get a bunch of information off there. They are pretty open about everything that they have. And yeah, there you have it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.